name a better site than this. Wow, she got me food. Hello. You're documenting. Yeah, I'm documenting this. This, this miracle. This one true. This. I got a pistachio latte. I heard someone order it. Oh, give, give, give. With oat milk. Oh. It's so good. <laughs> Have you tried it? Yeah. I need to get my gum out. Basically. Wait, let's let's set up. It's so good. Oh, your gum's gonna ruin the flavour. Smells so good. Okay, let me tell you what I got. So, you know how last time we ordered the you get the pistachio sandwich yeah and then we got a pasta but they don't do have a pasta so i just got two of the pistachio sandwiches the chicken yeah. burrata pistachio pesto let's, let's, let's sit up and then we can talk and pistachio it. donuts Ooh. oh and also i've vlogged a little bit for you oh thanks in the shop okay okay I'm what's up i'm gonna drive somewhere quieter wait try the latte first wait my gum okay making me panic um when i did a q a asking people what they want to see from the vlogmas the most, like 80% was more like mm. eating and car mukbangs. So we're treating you guys. Ooh. How nice is that? I've never had latte like this. Yeah. Is it coffee? Yeah, there's coffee in there. Isn't it so nice? It tastes like pistachio milk. Yeah, but it's oat milk. That's so good. This, so this place specializes in like pistachio. I'm gonna tell you more about it when we stop and start eating. Okay guys, so. True drove off because he wants to go somewhere more quiet to eat, but we've actually ended up coming somewhere busier. much busier. Central London is so busy, but I mean, it's Saturday, so what do we expect? Um, it's a no makeup day today because I have my, I have a laser hair removal appointment for my face, which by the way, don't ever do face laser hair removal because I didn't have hair on my face, like it was very fine, but I was getting laser on my legs and my armpits and I thought, oh, I might as well just do my face while I'm at it. And my, I used to have like just peach fuzz. Then I finished my treatment, worked on my legs, worked on my armpits, but my face hair like grew back thicker and more. And when I told the laser people, only after I had finished all my sessions, they were like, oh yeah, if your hair's fine, you shouldn't do it because it can actually do the opposite and encourage hair growth. And I was like, why couldn't you tell me this at the start? Because now what I'm having to do is get eight more sessions now to reverse that. So now I'm getting laser on because now I have thick hair, which is what you need for laser. But they created that and now I have to do it. So don't do that. Um, so yeah, I've got no makeup on because obviously I'm getting face laser. So this place is called Goloso, is it? Yeah, Goloso. And my friend Alexis introduced this to me and it's the most addictive thing ever. It's so tasty. And actually the last time we had it was quite a few months ago. I feel like a long time ago, maybe long, summer. Like six months plus. Yeah, so I feel like their speciality is pistachio. I did vlog a little bit inside. They do pastries, they do sandwiches. This one is a chicken, it's chicken millionaise. So it's the, you know, the flat chicken with mm. breaded breadcrumbs, breaded breadcrumbs. It's got pistachio, they're like their famous pistachio pesto and burrata and it's all cooked in this really lovely focaccia bread. Show them. And then I got pistachio donuts. Oh, smells amazing. Yeah, look at this bread. And it's got the cheese. It's really crunchy, but because it's like so thin, it doesn't hurt the roof of your mouth when you eat it. It's also like soft inside. Mm. And this pistachio latte is amazing. It actually doesn't have coffee in it. I think it's like they put pistachio and then the oat milk, but it just tastes amazing. Like a really nice, light, warm drink. This morning, they were like, let's get Jonah juice. But I remembered this place. Mm. And because I've had Jonah juice so much like recently, I'm sick of it. So this place popped up in my I'm head. just a creature of habit. But then when you remind me, I said, like, oh my God, yeah. Mm. But I didn't remember what it was called. So I had to go on my DMs with Alexis and check mm. the name. Because I completely forgot the name. I finally got to the pistachio. Wow. That looks really good. And the cheese they use, it just gives a creaminess to it. It's not a cheese, you don't have that cheese flavour. Mm. It's more of the, like the creaminess of it. Isn't it? Like it doesn't taste cheesy. So after this, I'm gonna do my laser, which is really quick, it's like 15 minutes, because it's just the face. I'm actually dreading it as well, because I find it really painful, like, Feels like someone's like flicking a elastic band, but each like really fast on each bit of your face. Like sometimes I have to tell the lady to stop. I'm like, can you just stop? Um, because it depends on your skin color, doesn't it? 
Yeah, you have to go to certain laser places as well because it's to do with your melanin. Um, so you have to find a specific place, but yeah, so after that, then we're gonna go get a suitcase from Remember. I feel like at this restaurant, this cafe. What is it called? A cafe or deli? It's like a deli, but Italian you can, deli, yeah. You can sit there. Yeah. Um, I feel like they make it with so much love as well. When I when I was watching the man making this, like it just you know sometimes like I feel like people just slap things on, it's just like, oh gotta get this mm. done. But he actually like they were so nice and it also like he's just I feel like they make it with love. Lo love. <laughs> they make it with love. Like he was really like I was just watching and it just looks like they really take care. Even the lady who made this, like she was just so happy, like everyone's in a good mood in that shop. Mm. And she was like, sure darling, like and just I feel like you know when you make food with love, it actually you can taste the difference. And I feel like everyone there is just so happy and like makes the food with love. It's nice because it puts you in a good mood. Like mm. I was just in the shop smiling. It's crazy how other people's behaviours can change your mood so much. Like the other day, True went to get his hair cut. Yeah, the Do guy you want to tell the story? Gone. The guy was so rude. It's like I sat down. You have to do your greeting and stuff like, yeah mate, how are you, blah blah blah. And then midway through the haircut, I forgot to explain to him that I had a, like a side parting. And he was like, oh, you should have told me that from the start, but from a very, like a very rude tune. Mm. And from then on, he's just like very rough with the hair. And bearing in mind, I pay a lot for my haircut, for men's haircut. Like back in the day, I used to pay like seven pounds for a haircut. Yeah. But at this place, I'm paying like 50 quid. Mm. I'm paying that much for a consistent result mm. and just like just nice people to cut my hair But the guy was just rude and that put me off the whole day like When that, he came home he was upset. I wasn't upset like but it just put you in a bad mood it just basically. put me in a bad mood Yeah, yeah, and it impacts like you don't realize that's why I think you should always Be kind and be nice because you don't realize how your actions can impact other people like I was in a good mood already but going into that shop today like just everyone being in a nice positive mood just puts you on a positive mood but if someone was rude then it kind of sets you off as well what I explained to True was because I saw this quote on Instagram was I don't know the numbers aren't exact but you'll get the message so it was like if you had 86,100 pounds in your bank account and someone stole 10 pounds would you give away the rest of your 86,000 pounds if someone stole 10 pounds and you're like no obviously not like 10 pounds in comparison to how much you have in the bank 86,000 is not it's not gonna make you give it all away and it's not gonna impact you and I was like that's the same as your day you have 86,000 something by the way the numbers are probably completely off minutes or seconds in a day and if someone ruins like 10 minutes or 10 seconds of that day why would you throw your whole day away and let it ruin that mood and then I told truth and he was like oh yeah that's so true and then he actually was more positive also today my neck is so bad like Today I was in the most pain with my neck. The whole night, I was I was literally screaming in the night. Every time I turned around, because it hurt so much. Okay, we're gonna eat this and then go to my laser. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Mm -hmm. guys I've just come back from my laser and I'm crying so much it was so painful for me and I'm also like crying out of frustration because like obviously when she's doing the laser I did manage to film a little bit um but I just felt like trapped because like I have to go through this because my hair's become so thick because of what they've done and I'm just frustrated <laughs> that I have to deal with this and like it was really 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 painful <laughs> and i'm laughing because i'm quite i'm laughing i was laughing because i was i don't even know what i'm saying i was laughing when the practitioner was doing my thing because i was like i feel so stupid that i'm crying but i initially started crying from the pain because it was very very painful <laughs> because obviously the thicker the hair the more painful it is and then i started crying even more i'm just gonna hold it i started crying even more because I'm just really angry at the situation with my face because I already had to go through 80 sessions of laser last year and it was going well 
because I thought it was working and then obviously I found out that no when you have fine hair it actually stimulates the hair growth so what's happened is obviously I've had my eight sessions that I didn't need to have on my face and it stimulated the growth so now I have thick hair which now the laser will work because it's thick hair but I'm just really frustrated that I have to deal with that because this all could have been avoided and I just found it very very painful so yeah I'm <laughs> just crying and I'm upset I just thought I'd let you guys know I came into the car just burst out crying I think Drew's a bit confused because he dropped me off and I was normal and fine but yeah I really dread when I go to laser on my face because it's just so and obviously when it's on your face it, you can really feel it yeah that's an update no I don't know Ask them I'm like I'm so annoyed because I feel trapped because I want to I want to stop doing it because I really I really can't stand the pain so like I want to stop doing it but I can't stop because it's literally like my hair grows back really quickly in my face now so guys this is your sign if you're thinking about doing face laser hair removal don't do it unless you have thick hair because if you have fine hair like I did it's not necessary but yeah I'm just gonna cry it out because I feel like I have more more to cry out which i'm not going to do on camera but i just thought i'd catch him because i stopped my recording halfway um yeah okay guys i've stopped crying now i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> true actually went out while i was in the car um and got some new suitcases. But never know is. I realised that we didn't do our advent calendar. Also, I'm going to open up two today because we're going to be away. So when I come back, I can open the rest. But I'm going to open for today and tomorrow because tomorrow morning we're leaving five o'clock. Okay. So I'm not going to do it then. So let's do. So what day is it? It would be three. Four. No, three and four. Oh. Darker skin tones, hyaluronic serum. Oh yeah, so Dr. Barbara Stem actually creates like she has different like creams for darker skin tones because she thinks that like you you would need yeah. different like things. So this is actually good. Hyaluronic I might take that with me as my serum for the trip. These are actually perfect for the trip to Aspen. So now to take full size things. Face cream. Perfect. Let's do beauty pie. I'm also leaving the uh, Nespresso and tea ones because that's yeah, actually feel like predictable. <laughs> uh, so we did three and four. Ooh, silk hair scrunchies. It's a little packet of silk hair scrunchies. That's perfect. Today I was actually looking for one because I just washed my hair and I didn't want to tie it up with a normal hairband. No. 25. Wow. Love that. What, 25 scrunchies? No, no, no. It says 22. <laughs> I think that's like the grade of silk or like mm. the weight. It's not 25 actually. And then number four. Japan Fusion Deep Moisture Mask. Oh, so it's a moisture mask you leave on 10 to 12 minutes. Oh, and you wipe it off, but I don't actually wipe it off because you can actually keep it on overnight as a sleeping mask. Does it not burn? No, no, no. It's, it's literally just basically lots of moisture. Look. Deep moisture mask. That's really, I love beauty pie packaging. Flannels, three and four. Oh, one one skin rose quartz exfoliating mask. Might take that as well on holiday. Cool. I'm gonna actually take that for our trip. And then let's do number four. Oh. Bath and shower gel at Aqua de Palma, that's nice. Don't just take that because the hotel will have yeah. toiletries back to you. Cool. This I is the donut. Out. Looks very... I vlogged him making it. Looks very tasty. It's like you, a bird up. You feed me. Okay, let's share one. It's very sweet. Mm-hmm. It's very rich. You know what it tastes like? What? They put pistachio butter in some brioche bun. Mm. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 